your boy Carson on here, and um, let's talk about the song. You know, I mean, Drug Dealers Anonymous. I think that uh, Pusha T he killed it. His verse was on fire, but you know, everybody's waiting to hear what I think about Jay Z's verse. <laughs> Everybody wants to know. First off, I like the beat. The beat was dope. I was like, oh, okay, this is more like old school. And I could see they're trying to pay homage to all this old style stuff back in the 80s and back in the day. And, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, I get it. He dropping all these jewels back in the day. And then after Dre dropped that donut verse on the... Uh, all the way up, you know, it was time for him to step it up a little bit. So, what they do, put a track on where he can go back to Reasonable Doubt Jay and talk about drug dealing, you know, and give him these topics to rap about. So, once the song come on, I'm listening to the verse, and the verse is alright, you know, but it was in Jay Z's format. But it was. Really, it wasn't outstanding. You know what I'm saying? It's just he didn't mess up the track. So I give him that. It ain't like all the way up, but it was just horrible. I'm like, man, this is brutal. But what was also on there that I caught was his throw his little lines to a course of miracles. I'm a course of miracles with this. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. I'm like, oh my gosh. He's quoting the spiritual transformation book. That's also known as the devil's book. So all you Illuminati theorists can really eat this up. Because you're quoting. And he said he dropped this quote. Back a year ago on Twitter talking about title. So he he must be reading the book. A Course in Miracles is like the New Tone Bible. This crazy woman talking about the Spirit of God came in me and I wrote this book. She wrote this book back in like the 60s and 70s. And the Spirit of God came in her and all. It's, it's a whole bunch of psycho cult stuff that nobody would ever like believe you know it's almost saying that there's another power that's spiritual that's not God that moves you I'm like what was that the devil <laughs> cause I don't know what what you talking about woman you basically just trying to rewrite the Bible then so you, that God came and spoke to you in your ear as you was writing <laughs> he chose you, huh? But this book made its way on Oprah, made its way in the powerful people's hands, and it has become like the new Scientology of celebrity couples, evoking spiritual transformation and power. And he mentions it on the song and re reads quotes. From that Bible, I mean, from that book, on his songs, and Beyonce does it on all night. She's reading quotes from that book, so this is obviously a book that they share together, probably with others. So, as far as his verse for the song, he didn't screw the song up. His verse was all right. It wasn't dope. It was just I, right. you know. So on that note, I mean, Pusha T definitely outdid him on the song, but it's Pusha T's song. But it's a it's a good record. I mean, you can listen to it. You can play it. It's not a problem at all. But if you're an Illuminati theory person. Then this is your time to to go all in, cause, cause they definitely exposed a lot in this song. 
He should have never mentioned these lines again and then mentioned the book's name in the run in the record, so quite sure the Illuminatus will eat all this up. I'm out. But good job, Jay. You did not ruin this the, the song. So kudos for that. I'm out.